Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. David, that hurts. And so we talked yesterday that it was so high. You're you know, saying that they were basically playing the happy song, and today they're playing the blues. Why, why does something like this happen so extreme? Yeah, it, it is remarkable, Lou. And as we talked about in the 11 o'clock hour, it is really unusual to see stocks go up by nearly 1,000 points one day and then the very next day to go down by even more. That is a roller coaster of enormous magnitude. And here's what's happening. Yesterday, there was a lot of investor enthusiasm about the half point rate hike announced by the Federal Reserve. And they were happy not so much because interest rates are going up, but because it was expected. There were no curveballs. The market doesn't like uncertainty. But as I predicted yesterday, cooler heads prevail today and traders were just dumping shares right and left as they realized these half point increases that the Fed seems to be scheduling not just throughout this year but perhaps well into next year might not be enough to bring down inflation which is the key goal of these rate hikes and if that's the case then the Fed is going to have to look at more aggressive monetary policy, perhaps a three-quarter point rate hike next time around. The danger here, the more aggressive the Fed behaves, the greater the likelihood that it slows the economy too much, plunging us into a recession, possibly, at least in the eyes of some analysts, a bad recession. And that's exactly what the market is saying. Now, Fed Chief Jerome Powell yesterday said that the, the central bank is not actively considering his words, a three-quarter point interest rate hike. However, Wall Street seems to be saying that if the Fed isn't actively considering it right now, they will be, and probably soon. All right. Uh, people are said to be afraid of Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. Yeah, it's not just Mark, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. There's a lot of companies that are all high on the metaverse right now. If you don't know what that is, the idea is you'd put on virtual reality headsets or some augmented reality eyewear, and you'd be able to go online, not sitting in front of a computer, but wandering around as if you were inside a video game or a cartoon. Facebook is so excited about this, they changed the whole company's name to Meta. But a new survey of 2,500 U.S. adults asking, are you excited about the metaverse, came up with some surprising results. Nearly a third of survey respondents said they're not just not excited, they're downright scared of the metaverse. They don't like the, the idea of inhabiting a digital world and wearing a mask on your face to cut you off from reality. Only 7% of respondents say, yeah, they're excited. And then the vast majority of respondents said, eh, they don't really care one way or another. And what that says is, Proponents of the metaverse, specifically Facebook and others, need to do a better job of selling what the advantages of this are and why putting on the, the headset and wandering around is going to be a good thing. As it stands, I think a lot of Americans look at that and think, God, that sounds a lot like, well, wandering around in a simulation and being treated like a battery. Oh, that's a good idea for a movie. Mm -hmm. Back to you guys. I know I've, I've worn uh, those a couple times and experienced it. And it is fun and it's unique and it's different. But once I took it off and walked away and got home, I was like, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. It's, it could be yeah, very addictive. Yeah, I got real and, nauseous when I did it. Oh, yeah. interesting. Where'd you go? I was on the moon, I think. <laughs> no, no I seriously, was I went to the moon. Some, I, I, in your virtual reality? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's, 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 Lou's not on drugs today. Make no, no. mistake. But, Only no, on Friday. I was doing a, a virtual reality, uh, uh, like theme park, where you were riding a ride in virtual reality, and oh. I came off it with my head spinning. Uh, yeah. It was just brutal. I think just what you two just said, uh, I think we all prefer to stay in the universe as opposed to the metaverse. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you.